welcome back to my channel one more time welcome back this time Meghan Markle has reached to a new low a low that nobody has seen ever until now why is because of the book Tom Bauer he released the book we're finding now new facts new lows of Meghan Markle I want you to take a look at this particular video because this video I found it to be very very interesting to take a look now to the ginger and the winger, Meghan Markle and Harry, Prince Harry. Well, Meghan's in trouble again. She's facing all sorts of new bullying allegations. We've seen her bullying antics make headlines in the past, but these latest claims against her, well, they represent a new low. She stands accused of reducing Kate Middleton to tears after being critical of Princess Charlotte's wedding attire. In his new book, Revenge, Revenge, investigative journalist and best-selling author Tom Bauer claims that Meghan compared Princess Charlotte unfavourably to her best friend Jessica's daughter during a bridesmaid fitting in the lead up to the wedding and according to the author Kate who was already irritated by complaints of Meghan bullying her staff broke down in tears. So we all know the bullying allegations. In the past we have seen how these royal staffers they came out and they spoke about Meghan's treatment of them. We also know Prince William in particularly, who was not happy. He said, how dare Meghan is bullying my own staffers. These all allegations, they're 100% true, even though Buckingham Palace, according to this report, and, and we all know Buckingham Palace, they stayed away coming out with a lot of details, with explanations according to what happened, the real account of the story. They did not come out in public and you know blatantly accuse mega markle of you know abusing or bullying their stuffers unlike obviously mega markle who came out in public and voila you know to the whole world accused the buckingham palace the british monarch of racism of abusing her not taking care of her when everything that happened was exactly the opposite now this time as you can see from this report she was not happy just by you know bullying those staffers she wanted to do even more and what she did in this case obviously she was putting princess charlotte down by criticizing her and that time princess charlotte she was just a toddler so in other words if megan markle is not getting along with you if she has problem with you she will not only come after you but also against your kids she was just a toddler well how can you compare one kid to another they're all beautiful they're all pretty who, who told you Meghan Markle to spend your time thinking about oh Jessica's daughter and Kate's daughter let me compare and then actually make a statement about it and then at the same time you are accusing Camilla of racism when Camilla said well uh, I wonder how the baby would look like you know Af afro hair or African uh, skin color and that I mean this is quite normal for anybody to speculate about the baby's color this is normal this is not racism but Meghan Markle said no this is racism in the beginning as we all know prince harry was okay with that comment but prince harry you know being the one the the you know, the, the, mo the foolish person he is he came to Meghan markle and then Meghan markle said no this is racism this is not about fun and this is not she was not joking she was actually a racist the point here is that Meghan markle she is going to be changing the script coming after anybody who would talk against her coming after anybody who she would not get along get along and even if that means a small little kid she is still gonna go and chase that person down this is who Meghan Markle has become Bullying complaints led to a formal investigation, but Buckingham Palace has refused to make the findings public I wonder why but it is a matter of public record that the Sussex, Sussex's communication secretary Jason North lodged a formal complaint where he claimed in an email that Meghan had bullied two PAs out of the household in just the past year. The treatment of a royal staffer who should be remain named evidence we have now it's one thing for Markle to allegedly bully her aides but quite another to be taking pot shots at little Charlotte, who would have been, well, no more than a toddler at the time. But this whole exchange got the Markle treatment during that infamous Oprah Winfrey interview, where she claimed that it was in fact Kate 
who had reduced her to tears. And she was upset about something, but she owned it and she apologized and she brought me flowers. And a few days before the wedding, she was upset about something pertaining to, yes, the issue was correct about flower girl dresses. And it made me cry. So as you can see how she changes the whole narrative, remember, if you have, if you are referring to a particular incident that actually took place, it is easy to lie about the whole incident when all you have to do is to change the narrative. Here, Meghan Markle, she said, I was the one who was crying. I was the one who was the victim. When in reality, she is the one who made Kate Middleton, another person, cry. This is easy for her to say. Why? Because this incident actually happened, but it's, it's the other way around. Megan is the one who made Kate cry. So when she was going to this interview, Oprah Winfrey interview, all she had to do was to change the narrative and nothing else because this thing did happen, but she portrayed herself to be the victim when she portrayed uh, Kate Middleton and the British monarch as the culprit. This is who Meghan Markle is and we really have to be careful about her. Something pertaining to, yes, the issue was correct about flower girl dresses and it made me cry and it really hurt my feelings. We all know who Meghan Markle is but every single day she is reaching to a new low and coming up with new new porky pies as I like to say it when we are now seeing there is a pushback after Tom Bauer's book was published and people are now actually coming to this realization that no in fact everything that we have heard from Meghan Markle and Prince Harry especially during that interview uh, with Oprah Winfrey was nothing but lies and all of these allegations everything that they're saying everything that they're claiming happened exactly the other way around they made people cry they made people they to feel down they put people down they, they, they bullied people they even did not spare especially for Meghan Markle she did not even spare a little toddler she criticized her Princess Charlotte in this case I mean who knows what else she did as we have seen Meghan Markle lying all the time saying things that are not factual saying things that are not correct for example when she was a kid she said uh, you know I was able to write a letter to Johnson & Johnson company and the company they had to change their advertisement and I have made them to change it in order to improve or in order to better the improve the, the image of women during that time and it is absolutely not true what happened really was that she was working on a school project the teachers gave her the idea why don't you write a letter to Johnson & Johnson to change the narrative surrounding women but Meghan Markle said, no, it is me who changed that. It is me who wrote the letter. It was my idea. I mean, Meghan Markle, she is going lower and lower every single day. If you're new here, consider to subscribe. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.